Hello everybody, I'm the Gaming King, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun Moon Wi-Fi battle. Now, in this battle, it basically gets on raids. If you guys been on the channel, channel since the beginning, you and you watch my second or third Wi-Fi battle, uh, this is the guy Facial. I did hit him up saying, hey, wanna have a Wi-Fi battle? He's like, sir, we did, we had like, like five, but with Sai Internet, how bad this, the, the connectivity here works, I just, we didn't have much, so, so yeah, let's get hot. Let's get into this. Oops, I actually spoiled the game right there. So, basically, yeah, so basically, we had a Wi Fi battle before this. So, let's see how this goes. So, so basically, I decided to send Turtonator. And he decided to send Decidueye. And I decided to Will Wisp this, this Pokemon. And it's a shy Decidueye. So, so, yeah, that's what I decided to do. I decided to straight up burn this thing while you're talking to me. I'm like, Okay, that's a perfect trade right there, cause, cause I'm fine with this Sidua getting burnt since it seems Uvo just hit everything on my team. I am using the same team from last time, cause I really didn't don't have that great Pokemon. So I'm currently trading, getting more po trying to get more Pokemon, um, better Pokemon on my team. I'm like I'm trying to get Mimic Cube and all that stuff like that. So, so yeah, the Sidua goes down, and I, and so he's so he switches. Out. He goes into his Akazam, yeah, and I decided to go for a flame too. Right, and Akazam, yeah, that's Akazam isn't going to take that very well. So, yeah, I'm fucking going to get poisoned still. Oh, and I decide to. And I basically decide, okay, let me switch out into Arachnid. And, and, and so I can take whatever moves it wants to come. I'm um, so. So yeah, I decided to go for Rack and now I he should take like a second move since I thought this Pokemon was a mega active jam. I don't think it was, so So basically I predict the switch into Incineroar and go for the prediction, but he sends out Decidueye, so so yeah, that sucks. But luckily I do get the defense drop, which is good for me, and since it's done with the power since I'm that water a bit. That's especially good, so so I decided to go for the type. I, I thought he'd go for his Z move or something, but he doesn't. Doesn't, so yeah. Yeah, toxic. Yeah, that's gonna suck. But. But once again. So, two of my walls are toxic, which is not good. One of the, one, the other one, one of which just have great recovery, so. So, yeah, that does suck. And Decidueye is gonna go down right here. I think he was probably a Z move, Decidueye. I am not a hundred percent sure, so yeah. The Sidui is basically gone. He sends out his glass cannon, and which is weak of all. Now this thing is choice specs. X cause because of that battle, so I and it is a major damage, even though I'm in a solid this rack, and so I decided to switch out in Komo or and take the specs on the ball. Hopefully I don't get paralyzed. Uh, and I don't. So that's good. And I decided to go for a dragon right here. It is like or actually so I thought it was spec so so yeah he does go for protect here which is fine with me I don't really care and dragon claw he thought that's good, not gonna do anything so so yeah I decide he withdraws and goes out into Hulk Hogan which I think it's a general or yeah so he goes out to general I decide to go for dragon claw it is a humongous amount of damage to it. It is over half. And I said to Earthquake, just in case you want to put in something in extra Dazzle. So, and yeah, Hulk Hogan is down. So yeah, Torrance Pokemon are down, which is, which is a great start for me. And so next up, he brings out his Akazam. Now, I'm not sure, sure if I could live a hit from Akazam with a Rackman. And so, so I decided to switch out, and I still go into Arachnid, so I go into Savali, predict that's been the side shock. Like, and he goes for recover, I'm like, oh, this ain't good. This is not good. So I just decided to U-turn out. And, and he go, and he switch, is, I'm not sure if I had U-turn on this time or what, so, so yeah, he says that his tiny Salazzle. My fit has a lot of shine, so. So I decided to switch out, go, and basically I believe go into my, uh, a Rackmanet or something like that, I'm not entirely sure. 
Because it hasn't put a huge dent on my entire team. And I have to keep a Raccoonish healthy if, if I want to get past the thing. So I go for the liquidation. He goes for a protect mix. Very, I think all this Pokemon has protect on here. Yeah, because of those Z moves. So, yeah. So, basically, I just beat... And he, sent, and he switches out to that, so I'm like... And he switches in his last and cannon, which is weak evolved, and yeah. That's gonna suck. Since now I need a free switch into Sadazzle if I want to take out this thing. Since I'm not gonna be able to live anything. So basically, something has to die in order for me to get rid of Sadazzle now. So I'm going to Vika fight you and he goes for a protect, which is the best case scenario since I predicted the Thunderbolt. And I go for a side suck here. Yeah, no one died, but it's knock it out. And Glass Cannon is out. So. So he's, I'm up by three, and he goes into Aegisass, so, and once again, Aegisass is another Pokemon. We, we don't, me and Andre don't play by Spogon moves, so, so I said go for a Z move, since it's packed with those I could really do at the moment, and yeah, yeah, you know what's gonna happen, <laughs> Stoke Spark Surfer, and Andre is down, and that Aegisass is gonna get paralyzed, so, which is good for me since he decides it's a threat. And look how much damage that does. Yeah. I don't think you got get protect. I don't think it did. But luckily he does get paralyzed and I decided to go for the Thunderbolt. So I did, had a little bit of patch on that part, so Yeah. And he goes for a stance stage. And you at this point that then my right shoe was dead since it's an Aegis ass and it uses a stab move and yeah yeah I'm dead so so he's slowly getting back momentum and I decided to go back into Kumo and I just, just decided to earthquake just in case like something like ah cause Amos Sadasso comes in and cause cause there it can just wreck shop and King Seals no, that's not good so I decided to go for an earthquake Fake and yeah, that's yeah. You know what's gonna happen now. Uh, I said, and he was through ages, so I thought he was gonna say something like Alex there, which he does. So once again, I'm not, I'm not gonna lose Steve over it. So Earthquake is gonna do a huge amount of damage, I believe. It's not gonna do. Any, I think it knocks it out. No, it it barely knocks it out. So I decided to go for another Earthquake because. Just to set Kumo off, and he goes for a psychic. There's really way nothing I could have done about it. It's his nasty Pokemon really playing work against my nasty, against my nasty Pokemon. So, yeah. And so I sit in my Savai. Yeah, I believe I go for a multi type attack or something like that. No, I believe I go for a U turn here. I'm not entirely sure. No, I go for a Shadow Claw and knock out the Atakazam. So, Atakazam is now gone, so which is good for me. He, and he sends in his Sadaz or something. Oh, great, this thing good. I basically have to do something so that Sadaz will die. I mean, Savai die, because same story, yeah. Yeah, from that Sadaz, that's going to do a huge amount of damage. But luckily, I do survive and able to get off a Shadow Claw. Uh, and that does a humongous damage. It's a crit. Youch. And unfortunately, Savali is going to lose here. Yeah, and Savali is going to get knocked out too. So yeah, I'm basically getting destroyed. But luckily, I do go. But luckily, I do have Turkney in the back here. I believe I'm going for it because I don't want it switching out. Out. I don't. Since I know Turtonator really can't do anything against me or me, and I'm fine with using Turtonator. And I don't want to get fancy or anything. Anything, cause, cause I, I legit don't want to get that fancy or anything where I lose the match. That's so, so yeah, that's what I do. 
do I send Turtonator? Because as I know Sludge Bomb's gonna usually do a huge amount of damage and it, and he could switch. Because with the right switch, he, he can't take me out. And so that's his gun, that's game. Game, because then he, he just has, is so slow it can't outspeed anything on my team, and it doesn't have shower state, otherwise it would have used it on right shoe. So yeah, so and now he just has comes in, and now game two is going to happen, and you know the rest from here. And it does keep you know, hoping to like toxic storm or something like that. And and flame through it, yeah, that's that's not gonna go over well. And yeah, that was a good game to Andres right there. And yeah, Turtonita is able to pick up the final kill with flame through. Right, so hope you all enjoyed this match again. Good, so that, so yeah, that was a really tough match, so hope you all enjoy. I'm the Gaming King, and I will see y'all all on the next Pokemon Mega, I mean, Simon Wi-Fi battle. Take care.